Here now with reaction from Levin TV, a studio in Virginia, the host of Levin TV, CRTV Network. I call him the great one. You know what it's like to get you on the show? It's like pulling teeth. You know that? Uh, we're glad to have Very you back, good. my friend. How are you? I'm uh, good. How are you? I want you, I'm laying out the basics here. You put together in a very comprehensive way, and I give you a lot of credit for putting all this together. This isn't the right-wing conspiracy. This isn't conservative Sean Hannity, conservative Mark Levin. This is the New York Times. This is, this is McClatchy. Explain. And yet it's only conservatives who are concerned about what they're reading in liberal media outlets. Have you noticed that? Hmm. The media is very confounded right now. They're very confused. They don't know whether they trash themselves, trash their colleagues, or what. Now, you asked a question. You said, what did Obama know? We know he knows this much. Everything you just read, he knew, because it's in the newspapers. That's pretty big. Number two, we know that if a FISA warrant was secured, it's very likely in his daily intelligence briefing or a call from the attorney general or the director of the FBI, the president would be given a heads up. There's nothing illegal about it, but he'd be given a heads up. Here's what else we know. There's all kinds of, based on these reports, investigative activities going on. You know, McClatch reported the agencies involved, the FBI, CIA, National Security Agency, Justice Department, Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. I assume Obama knew something. I mean, unless he's Helen Keller. Now, let me make another point about this. That's a hell of a lot of agency resources. Those are a hell of a lot of investigators. The news report, you mentioned the New York Times, January 20th. I, I just want to make sure CNN and MSNBC are aware of this. They watch I know all the time, Mark. Illiterate. Nobody's watching them. Go uh, ahead. Wiretap data used in inquiry of Trump aides. I never said independent of news reports about the wiretap. Wiretap data used in inquiry of Trump aides. Well, didn't Mr. Clapper say there were no... FISA orders issued. Can you play that tape for me so I can comment on that I, I, and pull this together? I think we have that loaded and because he said it on Meet the Press this weekend. But I'll, I'll, we'll get oh, it in a second. Oh, it's very profound. Not loaded. Yeah. Well, but okay, we'll get to well, that in a second. Go ahead. But, but, but let me comment on it. It's what? very, very important. Yeah. It's very important because if Clapper says there was no FISA order and he was very broad and he was very definite and he said, no, I, I don't remember this and you'll play it later. Then what the hell are we talking about? That means they didn't have enough information for probable cause to get a warrant in front of the FISA court. So what's the FBI, the CIA, the National Security Agency, the Justice Department, the Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network investigating? What are these wiretaps that the New York Times is talking about? You know, I know they want to focus on Donald Trump and his tweet. I want to focus on America and the Constitution. The reason I got fed up with this last week is I'm a constitutional conservative. I look at this. If I'm reading these news reports, we have a runaway executive branch. I don't know who knows what. And as of today, the media don't appear to know who knows what, which is exactly why I've been calling for congressional investigations. The question is, why aren't CNN, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, and all the rest of them? Why aren't they concerned about this? Mark, let me Rather than mock the president and his tweet, pay attention to what your own reporters and other reporters are saying. So what you say is really deep and profound here, and I want to put some emphasis on this, and that is that the news media reported the leaks, the, new, the news, reader, news media reported the surveillance, they reported it repeatedly. This is the mainstream media. As far as I know, they've never retracted the story. And everybody knew about it. It was not something that was hidden. Now, in fact, Donald Trump mentions that, in fact, it happened. And somehow this is, a, oh, my gosh, this is outrageous. What do we, Look, where, how do we definitively yeah. find out that, in fact, in June and again in October, there were attempts to surveil the then candidate of the opposition party by the current administration at the time, the Obama administration? Well, two things need to happen one way or another. Number one, the FISA applications, which Clapper denies, by the way. He denies, and the follow-up was pathetic over there at NBC, but we'll get to that. The FISA applications should be released. That's number one. The warrant that was supposedly uh, secured in October should be released. The other thing that needs to be done is these daily presidential briefings that the president received, that the intelligence agencies and law enforcement agencies coordinate on and prepare. The 
Intelligence Committee chairmen need to read them. And now we'll get to the bottom of this. Now, I find it very interesting. People are saying, well, let Trump release the damn FISA stuff. Can you imagine if he does that? He'd be accused of interfering with investigations, trying to intimidate the Justice Department. No. Let Congress finally step up and do its job. They have oversight committees. We pay these people to do their jobs. Now, get into those damn FISA applications. Isn't the reason... Look at the so-called warrant. Hold on now. Yeah. Look at the warrant that was released. <laughs> Look at these daily briefings, and let's see what's in them. All right, great one. Well, we miss having you on. Stay right there. We're going to keep you while we got you, all right?